you've probably had about a shower or eaten it somewhere or seen it on pictures and you wonder how is it made that's what you're going to do today hello my name is rita and i'm the cooking nurse and in today's video i'm taking you home so welcome to the land of milk and honey ankole is where this delicacy originates from and i'm going to be sharing with you a recipe of how to make a shawe one of the most prestigious sauces in my land so you need ghee aged ghee that is so fragrant and rock salt and some water and then of course the equipment they used to use a smooth clay pot or a saucepan but nowadays we can use these stainless steel bowls and then you need like a, a katimba or like these nets to help you you know break down the fat so first you break down the fat make sure the ghee is at room temperature and then you're going to sprinkle there your crushed rock salt in my language we call this echonde and in luganda they call it echisula other people call it magadi because it comes maybe mainly from lake magadi and yeah basically that so what you're going to do is sprinkle it there's another way where people mix this rock salt with water but this particular video we are going to make it the traditional way as you can see it's the village setting we had guests okay i'd taken my husband back home and they were making this so i asked them to actually allow me film because man Ooh, Eshawa is not something so cheap to be, you know, randomly making at home. So it's usually coming out when you have an occasion, special guests, or on functions where it's, you know, guests that are important are going to be, or on spe or special occasions. So what you're going to do is keep whisking and making sure this butter is, or this ghee is, you know, loosening up and... As you go, you add in your rock salt and this room temperature water. Uh, I'm sure you've seen, they added in the water when the ghee had already turned from that yellow, ma more yellow color to this whitish, creamish color. So if you've never eaten a shawe somewhere or anywhere, I'm going to say that before you try to do this and you know ghee is not cheap it's not cheap the one to make you know a shower is not cheap before you go on ahead and waste your ghee please first go and visit any ankole restaurants or african restaurants that make a shower and test and know how it tastes so that you do not you know put in rock salt and water at the same time and then whisk like for two minutes and you're like done i have a shower here people get you're going to have a running stomach for nothing so this video is about six minutes but truthfully this eshawe we are using about 500 grams like half a kilo of ghee and making eshawe out of it took over one and a half hours if not two so you're going to have to be so patient with the whisking it's not as vigorous as you know i've heard most people say but it is continuous non-stop and it's uniform so you keep on you know whisking and whisking and whisking until this whole ghee situation has loosened up and it's more edible it's no longer fat that, like sticking in your mouth so what you have to do is keep adding in if you're mixing the water into the rock salt keep alternating with the same the plain water oh another important information is that the water is between room temperature and lukewarm so i would say maybe body temperature so you keep on tap you know picking some little bit you test see if it's working or if it's not working and like how far you've gone if it's loosening or it's not loosening and you keep on adding in the rock salt it is what helps uh break down all the fat in the ghee to loosen up and you know make this fluffy kind of paste or you know foamy liquid that we eat that we call a shabu the water is not hot when you insert in your you know like pinky you, you feel some little bit of warmth but it's not so warm and it's not cold so you keep on adding in and whisking and whisking and whisking then traditionally they say you do not say anything when you're making this eshawe and indeed this woman did not say anything the entire one and a half or two hours that she was doing this remember how funny i am like i'm always cracking jokes here and there and my mom was seated just next we are like oh my god we're always talking after she was like you guys no one can ever allow you 
ever allow you to be near them when they are making a shabwe in my language they call it okurunga no one can ever allow you because you're going to make them lose it but yeah a shabwe is almost done now and you test it and that's good uh the good one is where you add in some roasted meat this meat is slightly salted so that it's not so bland and then you roast it until it's like dry and then add it into a shabwe some people add in beans some people add in mushrooms but i prefer the meat one because i feel like you thought about me you did and ladies and gentlemen just like that you have your ishawe uh one of the most important information you have to go home with make sure your ghee is the aged ghee and it's proper it's not cooked and it's not been frozen and also you're not going to do it in two minutes unless you're making like one tablespoon of ghee so basically that's it you're welcome home this is a delicacy that you're going to enjoy in any prestigious ankole function it's usually served with karo which is millet bread and as you can see here that is what you're preparing in this you know pot on fire and it bangs it always laps i hope this video helped you and maybe soon you will make some eshabe for you and your family thank you bye